All right, so now we're going to do a scan of 101 West SES 2, I believe. Zoom this thing in here. SES 1. I misspoke there. So you want to make sure you got your standard LMB for the C band. Um, at 5150 is the frequency I have on mine. And you can go through your transponders just to make sure you got your signal. Um, I have it on position one because it's the C band and just basically I keep all those settings off because I don't want to botch my system up so as I'm just gonna click free TV and radio and usually it's default to manual scan but you want to find the blind scan option once you're blind scanning it will start from the either the vertical or horizontal uh, transponders and then it'll work its way back to the um, so start with the horizontals so it just goes through the horizontal and then it works through the ver vertical so it's found JTV which is a jewelry um, uh, shopping channel there's a few good channels on here that I really like uh, decades is one of the one channels I really like I like through the decades and um, I'm doing a scan of C band I'm not sure if there is a whole lot on the KU band side anymore the satellite used to have like the history channel and the bio network on on um, KU band years ago and it was like one of the even though it had like only a couple channels it was like for KU band it was a, one of the uh, top satellites but those are long gone um, be nice if some of those channels especially history channel or like a channel like history channel what it used to be having all those space bag commercials and stuff like that I guess um, so I'm anyway, halfway through the scan here. Um, it only takes, uh, I think it's like about four minutes of the part of the video where I'm scanning. So this is uh, one of my main areas where I do like to park my dish is over here, either at 99 West, 99 West, or 101 West, or maybe 107 West with the CTV stuff. So sometimes it'll say channel one and it doesn't give you indication. I think start TV and one of them is uh, start TV east and west. And there's also heroes and icons if you love that type stuff. Uh, there's uh, uh, heroes and icons east and west on that um, satellite. Uh, and I think one of them is a Daystar channel. And if you go on Linksat, you'll see all the channels that are available, uh, depending on what part of the world you're in. I think it's this is for the Americas, North and South America. So I don't know if there's anyone who watches my channel in South America, if they could tell me that they can get these channels like in Argentina or someplace like that. But it'd be interesting to know that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for all the comments, and if there's uh, another video you want me to uh, t tap into, uh, let me know in the comments. If you have a frequently asked questions too, I'll uh, ask those in the comments as well. So it looks like it's uh, scanned it all in. Oh yes, I also mentioned MeTV is in there, and the MeTV alternative, which is just plays like different feeds at times of the MeTV stuff. So that's the scan, and it goes back to 70%, and that's it. If you like free-to-air TV hobbyists and satellite communications, check out the free-to-air satellite TV hobbyist and satellite communications on Facebook and like it and follow for updates on free-to-air satellite stuff. If these videos here on Ottawa Octane have helped you, please consider supporting me on Patreon by sending me a few dollars for this channel on the Ottawa Octane channel. Um, I would really appreciate it and also give this video uh, a like over on Facebook over at Robbie Strike Videos 
And also, I'm on Twitter, RobbieStrike3 on Twitter. A little bit, of, a little bit about my channel. I do all sorts of videos about uh, satellite technology, Linux computer technology, and uh, I enjoy doing tutorials to show people how either reviews and tutorials to show people how to get their computer stuff up and going, get their media equipment working for them. Several of the satellite videos uh, for Free Satellite TV have uh, uh, been helped people all over um, the world. I've had people in in Africa watch these videos uh, to see how they can set up because uh, in, in, in most areas other than North America free satellite TV is how people watch TV they don't have terrestrial broadcast or cable in some areas they don't have high-speed internet so sometimes some of my videos they need to download them and be able to bring them in or watch them where there is internet and bring that knowledge to an area where they um, don't have uh, high-speed internet and they can set up a a KU band or a C band satellite dish so they can get information beamed down from satellites in remote areas. Some and not all the areas, like here in North America, we take high speed internet for granted. And a lot of areas in the world they don't have high speed internet. Uh, so satellite TV is the, uh, is, is the main way of getting information. Here we're kind of lucky where we have that and we can't take it for so if enough of you send me a few dollars, I can help make this channel grow and get bigger and do more reviews and uh, add more content. And if you have questions, even if you need some tech support questions you, that you have, send me a message in the comments or email. Get a, contact me, me over on Facebook for at Robbie Strike Videos, um, or here on um, Ottawa, the Ottawa Octane YouTube channel, wherever it may be. Uh, I'm happy to if it's a video I can create, and if it's a video that I might need a a few dollars to maybe buy some equipment so that I can do the demo and do the tutorial for you. That would be appreciated. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is what it would look like if adults acted like toddlers. Thank <laughs> you.